I'm going to read from the private oral exam guide for the private pilot license. The practical part of the test. This will be chapter 5, cross-country flight planning. This will be 5-3, navigation. What are three common ways to navigate? To navigate successfully, pilots must know their approximate position at all times or be able to determine it whenever they wish. Position may be determined by pilotage, by reference to visible landmarks, dead reckoning by computing direction and distance from a known position, or radio navigation or use of radio aids. What type of aeronautical charts are available for use in VFR navigation? Sectional charts, designed for visual navigation of slow to medium speed aircraft, one inch equals 6.86 nautical miles. They're revised semi-annually, except most Alaskan charts, which are revised annually. VFR terminal area charts, tax. TACs depict the Class B airspace. While similar to sectional chart, tax have more detail because the scale is larger. One inch equals 3.43 nautical miles. Charts are revisable semi-annually, except in Puerto Rico and the Virgin Islands where they are revised annually. World Aeronautical Chart, WAX. WAX covered land areas for navigation by moderate speed aircraft operating at high altitudes. Because, because of a smaller scale, WAX do not show as much detail as sectional or tax, and therefore are not recommended for pilots of slow speed. Low altitude aircraft, one inch equals 13.7 nautical miles. WAX are revised annually, except for a few in Alaska and the Caribbean, which are revised biannually. VFR flyway planning charts. This chart is printed on the reverse side of the selected tech charts. The coverage is the same as the associated tech. They depict flight paths and altitudes recommended for use by, to bypass high traffic areas. 5-4, number three. Be capable of locating the following items on a sexual chart. Abandoned airports, air defense identification zones, ADIZ, ADIS, Airport elevation, airport with a rotating beacon, airports with lighting facilities, airports with services, alert area, approach control frequencies, ADIS, class B airspace, class C airspace, class D airspace, class D airspace ceiling, class E airspace controlled airspace 700 foot floor, class E airspace controlled airspace 1200 foot floor, class E surface area, class E transition area, class G airspace, CTAC. Flight service station frequencies, glider operating areas, hard surface runway airports, high was, IFR route, isogonic lines, maximum elevation figures, military airports, military operation areas, military training routes, mode C veil, national security area, no fixed wing special VFR available, non hard surface runways, non directional radio beacons, non tower control airports. Obstructive obstructions above 1,000 feet AGL, obstructions below 1,000 feet AGL, parachute jumping area, part time lighting, pilot controlled lighting, private airports, prohibited areas, restricted areas, runway links, special conservation area, special flight rules area, unicom frequencies, VFR transition route, VFR waypoint, Victor Airways, visual checkpoints, Vortac, warning area, and TRSA, terminal radar service area, if available. Number four, what is an isogonic line? That's a FAA-H-8083-25. Shown on most aeronautical charts as broken magenta lines, isogonic lines connect points of equal magnetic variation. They show the amount and direction of magnetic variation, which from time to time may vary. What is magnetic variation? Variation is the angle between the true north and magnetic north. It is expressed as east variation or west variation depending upon whether magnetic north, MN, is to the east or west of the true north. Respectively. It's very important to respect the true north. Number six. How do you convert a true direction to a magnetic direction? To convert the true course or heading to a magnetic course or heading, note the variation shown by the nearest isogonic line. If variation is west, add. If east, subtract. Remember, east is least, subtract. West is best, add. What are lines of latitude and longitude? Circles parallel to the equator, lines running east and west. Parallels of latitude enable us to measure distance in degrees latitude north or south of the equator. Meridians of longitude are drawn from north pole to south pole and are at right angles to the e equator. The prime meridian which passes through the Greenwich, England is used as the zero line for which measurements are made in degrees east and west to 180 degrees. 
the 48 con uh, counter minus states of the United States lie between 25 degrees and 49 degrees north latitude and 67 degrees and 125 west longitude. What is magnetic deviation? Because of magnetic influences within the airplane itself, electrical circuits, radios, lights, tools, engine, magnetized metal parts, etc., the compass needle is frequently deflected from its normal reading. The deflection is called deviation. Deviation is different for each airplane and also varies for different headings of the same airplane. The deviation may value may be found on a deviation card located in the airplane. Name several types of radio aids to air navigation. NDB, non-directional radio beacon. VOR, very high frequency omnidirectional range. A VORTAC, a VHF omnidirectional range tactical air navigation. A DME, a distance, distance measuring equipment. An RNAV, an area navigation, includes INS, LORAN, VOR, DME, reference, and GPS. Number 10, what is VOR, VOR or VORTAC? VORs are VH. VHF radio stations that project radials in all directions 360 degrees from the station, like spokes from the hub of a wheel. Each of these radials is denoted by its outboard magnetic direction. Almost all VOR stations will also be vortex. A vortex, vortactual air navigation, provides ascended bearing information of a VOR plus distance information to pilots of airplanes which have distance measuring equipment. Within what frequency range do VORs operate? Transmitting frequencies of omni range stations are in VHF, very high frequency band between 108 and 117.95, which are immediately below aviation communication frequencies. What is a VOR radio? A radio is defined as a line or magnetic bearing extending from an omnidirectional range of VOR. VOR projects 360 degree radios from the station. These radios are always identified by their direction from the station. Regardless of the heading, an aircraft on a 360 radio will always be located north of the station. How are VOR nav aids classified? Terminal, low, and high. What reception distances can be expected from various class VORs? Class T, 12,000 feet and below, distance of 25 miles. Class L, below 18,000 feet, 40 miles. Class H, below 18,000 feet, 40 miles. Class H is also 14,500 14, to 17,999 uh, in the uh, 100 miles in the 48 states only. And another class H is 18,000 to flight level 450, 45,000, uh, 130 miles. And then another class H will be uh, above flight level 450, 100 miles. All right, we'll hold off right there. That was uh, number 14 in chapter 5, 5-7. That's a uh, cross-country flight planning.